Now, let's talk about that night, man. When, when did when did you find out things got as bad as they did? Now, that's that's the question everybody wants to know. Yeah, it wasn't really until like minutes until like the press conference until I figured out exactly what happened. You mm -hmm. know, um, even after the show, you know, you're just kind of hearing hearing things, um, but you don't know. I didn't know the exact details until you know minutes before the press conference. Mm -hmm. And even at that moment, you kind of just like, wait, you know, what? Like, you know, you just went through something and it's just like, wait, what? You know. So you didn't know people that actually passed away nah, and stuff? Nah. Wow. Until minutes before, you know, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, you know, and at the thing is like, you know, people pass out, you know, people, you know, things happen at concerts, but something like that, it's just like. Yeah, people said they uh, collectively, they collectively heard folks screaming help every time you stopped the song to get your attention. Did you did you hear any of those screams? Nah, man. And you know it's so crazy because I'm not I'm that artist too. Like you know, anytime you can hear something like that, you want to stop the show. You want to make sure you know fans get the proper attention they need. You know, and I anytime I could see anything like that, I did. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I stopped it like a couple times to just make sure everybody was okay. And I just really just go off the, you know, the fans' energy as a collective, mm -hmm. you know, call and response. And I just didn't, I just didn't hear that. You know, mm -hmm. I got music, I got my in-ears, but I just didn't, I just didn't hear that, you know? Break that down a little more. Like, nope, nobody knows what it's like being on stage except for other artists. So speak to us from that perspective of, of what you can see in here. It was like, what, 50,000 people? Yeah, I mean, you got like a, a venue, you know, feel like 50,000 people. Mm -hmm. But it's like a sea, you got lights, you got sound, you got pyro, you got, you know, you got your in-ears, you got your sound, you got your mic, you know, got the music, you got a band, there's all type of, you know, stuff going on. So it's hard, it's hard to tell excitement from 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 danger, so yeah, to speak? Yeah, of course, everything mm -hmm. kind of just sounds the same. And, any, and at the end of the day, you just hear music, mm -hmm. you know? And when you do, you just hear monks of things, you know? But you just, when you're in a show, you just enter the show and anytime you can, feel anything close to you, you know, you try to like definitely get to that. So so as an artist, how much can you actually, I guess, help in that position? You can only help what you can see, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then what you know, whatever you told, you know what I'm saying? Whenever somebody tell you to stop, you just stop. But this wasn't it. Well, it wasn't that night, huh? You know, Raging, Raging has been a part of the culture, you know, of your shows. You know, you, you didn't on this night, but in the past, you've encouraged, I guess, the kind of energy that could have led to something like this happening. Mm -hmm. Do you think that contributed to the energy of this night? Yeah, no, nah, I think, you know, it's something I've been working on, you know, for a while um, of just creating these experiences and trying to show, like, the experiences happening in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. You know, us as artists, we trust, you know, professionals to make sure that, you know, things happen and people leave, you know, safely, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this night was just like a regular show, mm -hmm. you know, it felt like to me. Um, as far as like, you know, the energy, people, it, it didn't feel like it was like, you know, people didn't, I don't, people didn't show up there to just be harmful. Mm -hmm. People just, I think, showed up to have a good time and then, you know, something unfortunate happened. And I think we really just got to figure out, you know, what that was, you know? Does raging make it harder to identify when something is going wrong in the crowd? Well, I think, you know, raging is just a, you know, they have a textbook, you know, definition, but, you know, in concerts, we've grown it to be just an experience of having fun. It's not about just, oh, harm. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about just letting go and having fun, you know, help others, you know, love each other. It's not about just, you know, harm. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 that's not what it's all about. The show isn't just rambunctious for an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, that's not what it is. You know? oh, trust me, I grew up on crunk. <laughs> so, you know, I understand, you know, you just don't, you don't want it to get too out of hand. Yeah, yeah but you know, the co you know, the energy is high, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, and that's why you want to just make sure that, you know, people are surrounded to make sure that people are just having the best experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can't say the energy is high, but you know, you want to you make sure that people are there to, for people to have like the best experience and leave. You know? Yeah, you, you want people to have a good time. You don't want people to get yeah, hurt though. at all. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, God forbid, pass away. And, and you know, it's typical for you 
to stop a show, to make sure fans in the crowd get the help you know they need. There's even footage of that night of, of you doing that during the set. Were you unable to sense like a difference in urgency this time around? I mean, yeah, because you know you stop the show, but you know you, you know if something's gonna happen, if it's something detrimental, somebody's gonna let you know, you know, or you know the show just stop. And, you know, that just wasn't the case. You know, I just kind of stopped the show. You know, you just ask, you have a call and response with the fans. Um, you try to, you know, generally get a response. But, you know, if you don't get like a hard like stop, you, a stop yeah. you know, it's just you, you can't you just don't you just go off of what's going on, you know, which makes it so like so crazy because like, you know, if I feel like, if you know, anyone would have known it would have just been like it wouldn't have gotten far, you know? Mm -hmm. what, what headspace were you in when you posted that uh, that initial that initial response video? I mean, it was, I think it had to have been the night of, you know? Um, so I was just in a headspace of just trying to get a communication out to my fans, you know? Um, I, mean, I had little to no information, you know? So I was just trying to figure it out and just communicate to them, you know? Yeah, I was just reacting just literally just to get something to the fans, you know, it's people that showed up. Do you regret that initial video? Do you regret reacting in that way or not, like not having all the information before you said something? I mean, yeah, cause you know, you, you just don't know what's going on, but at the end of the day, I don't, you know, I just wanted to get something out. You know, how my message came out, I can't, you know, I can only go off what I, you know, what I know, but mm -hmm. my true intentions of it, you know, was really just trying to get a message across and, you know, really wanted to just, Touch to the fans, touch to the families, you know, that we hear, we grieving, mm -hmm. and we'll get through this, you know, through this process. So, so what did you know in that first video? I mean, at, at that time, I think we just knew that, you know, people passed, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we didn't know how, you know, that it was, you know, the news, you know, I think police came out and said something, um, you know, you're just going off of what you're seeing in the, in the, in the news, you know, you don't mm -hmm. really know nothing. And then as the days go on, you start collecting a little bit more information. They said there was a, there was like chaos and trampling being reported since the early afternoon, like like hours before the show even started. Were you informed of any of that ahead of time? Well, no, like, um, and, um, you know, the police, he came, he came in, um, to my trailer and he, you know, he congratulated me on, you know, the event and, you know, having something like this in Houston. He let me know that this, it was, uh, you know, mishap at the merch booth earlier. You know, they shut it down, but they opened it back up. They seemed to got it under control. You know, he was gonna step out and just let us know if we need anything, you know, mm -hmm. have a good show. That was it. You know. <laughs>